I bought this amazing smartphone 5 months ago and it has been one of the best phones I've ever used. So without any further moments, let's move on to the in-depth review of HTC Desire A28 after 5 months. HTG Desire A28 can be termed as the best smartphone of 2016 due to the performance and best quality. It is rocking a 2800 mAh battery with 2 GB of RAM. It is having a 5.5 inch now 1920 Full HD display on its front. It has built in MediaTek MT6753 with a 1.5 GHz octagon processor. So now let's move on to its build quality. As far as a budget smartphone goes, it has a good build quality. On its back, it has a polished plastic with a 13 megapixel camera and a microphone and flash below it. The camera has a 13 megapixel lens with f2.2 aperture and it rocks with the inbuilt optical image stabilizer. OIS for a budget smartphone is the best thing in this device. The camera and the video quality is good, not it bad. The camera records a full HD 1080p video at 30 frames per second. Here are some of the pics which I took using this device. It catches some of the detail but some of the photos get oversaturated because of the light. The flash works very well and there is no delay in focusing and processing the image. Even the low light pics are good, we can't expect so much in budget smartphone but the camera here is good and catches the detail even in low light. So now. On its front, it is having a 4 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture with 27mm lens. And even it records full HD video 1080p at 30 frames per second. On its other side, it has a dual fairing, Dolby speakers. Playing games with the speakers just has an amazing experience. On its top, it is having a 3.5mm audio jack. So now let's move on towards its other side. On its left, it is having the power button and volume rockers. The buttons are perfectly placed, so it is very easy to reach towards it. The phone is too comfortable to hold in the hands. On its right, it is having the dual SIM tray and micro SD card slot, expandable up to 32 GB. It requires two nano SIMs. The display on its front is just amazing and it has an amazing experience using this smartphone. It has a full HD display with 401 pixel density. The OS on this phone is perfectly optimized. You will, note, you will not be able to notice a single lag while in use. Even during the bright sunlight, the display is crystal clear. I've installed the Google Now Launcher on this phone. I suggest you to download this app and it functions super fast. When you swipe down for the notification bar, it is filled up with the shortcuts which we require regularly with the settings shortcut towards its corner. It is rocking Android version 5.1 that is Lollipop. It is greatly optimized for this phone. You will need to update the OS which is having small bug fixes. But this phone comes with inbuilt Android version 5.1 that is Lollipop. As I am doing this review after 5 months, it is having some cons. Plastic finish on its back is having some trouble to deal with the intense heat, but I am using a case, so it will not affect your usage that much. The gaming on this phone is just amazing, and there are no cons in the case of gaming. The octa-core processor handles the gaming very well. As you can see that I am playing Subway Surfers, I can feel a single lag during its performance. But you can see that I have hacked this game, so you can even watch the video which I made to hack Subway Surfers. I've given the link to my video in the description so you can check it out. Even the game runs very well and the RAM handles the game very well. And it was my review of HTC Desire at 28 after 5 months. So you must have decided to buy this phone as it is cheap with amazing specs. And I forgot to tell you that this phone costs 14,999 Indian rupees on Flipkart and I have given the link in the description so you can check it out. And if you have enjoyed this video or if this video was helpful for you then please like, 
subscribe and feel free to comment below for any queries thanks for watching goodbye